I'm Ren. Welcome to my channel. You might know me from my comics on the internet that I draw and that I've drawn for many years now. And the thing is, um, today is the five year anniversary of my deviant art. So I figured I should react to some old art. Disclaimer. <laughs> I don't know how to react to old art. I don't know what people do for that. I'm just gonna go through my gallery and like, I don't know, hopefully find stuff to talk about. So, <laughs> so we're currently on my Deviant Art page. You don't need to go there. Literally anything I post there, I will also post on Tumblr. And I have, oh my God, that's a lot of page views, but five years, so. See, I I joined on October twenty twenty second, October twenty second, five years ago. Started at the bottom. Now I'm here. I pulled up my uh, gallery, but I pulled up the very bottom of it. I'm gonna start with the comic that first got me any attention on the internet. I had just like recently started getting into digital art and I wasn't very good at this. What, why is there light? Why window? Why do you hate me? So it was the summer of 2013 and uh, the trailer for To The Dark World had just, or The Dark World had just come out and I figured I should draw a thing about that. I'd just gotten into digital art and I was still quite bad at it, but that's okay. I drew this. I sent it to the MCU Facebook page at the time and um, they actually posted it, which I did not expect. And looking back, I don't understand why they posted it, but they did. And um, basically, it got like a thousand likes and I was like super happy because finally one of my dumb jokes was being appreciated. I just needed the right audience as it turned out and random people on the internet seemed to be that audience so that was that was my first comic and it it has too many views on here I don't I don't approve of this but okay so that was where it all started I sh I I need to go close my fucking curtains cuz this is this is not I'm back all right uh up next, this was the other one that they ended up posting on the Facebook page and that got me a bunch of attention and a lot of people mad at me for like, they were like, oh, incest is wrong and I'm like, that's literally the point of, the, that's the point of the comic, like, like, did you read it? I don't, <laughs> what the fuck is, what, what is, why? Oh, you gatekeeper piece of shit. How dare you diss weird girls with geek hats that are definitely not geeks. You don't know. She might be into Star Trek. She just doesn't feel the need to show it. Except with a hat that says geek. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am swear I'm not trying to get geek. If you, if you are not a geek and you want to wear a geek hat, fucking do it, man. I don't care. Oh, God. Okay. So, you know my current Ragnarok comic that I'm making? <laughs> You know that one? Um, that that wasn't the first full, like, length comic about a Tour de Dark World sequel, sequel that I made, technically. <laughs> um, welcome to my shame. It has a whole folder because I didn't feel the need to um, actually link the pages to one another or anything because why would I do that, right? I don't want anyone to read this. I I came up with this story after watching Tour the Dark World and I was like, well, I know this is not gonna be the next movie, but I'm gonna write it anyway because I was like 16 and I was like, I don't have anything else to do with my life right now. So, you know, why not make a whole comic? So I was like, yep, Odin just died because he would have gone away otherwise. He would have he would have left otherwise and just gone on his merry way and not fucking ever come back. But if Odin died in front of him, 
he couldn't let that get out, so he might as well stick around and just pretend to be Odin, right? And then he meets Sigyn, and he falls in love. Do you know, do you know that I love to write love stories? Can you tell from my arsenal of ships that I like to write love stories? Oh, guess what? She has a boyfriend who could probably beat Loki up, so he leaves. But actually, he's gonna stalk her, and then they're gonna hang out, and they're gonna be dumb and awkward and in love. And then, then he's gonna be like, I have to tell her the truth. I'm just giving you guys a rundown so you don't have to actually read this, because I don't want you to read this. Oh my god, I remember when I was making this, I was like still struggling with like, keeping the characters looking the same in every panel and like keeping them like um like the shapes consistent something that now I'm that that I'm an animator is way better but at the time I was like if I can't draw the same character twice then how am I gonna be a comic artist and I, I admittedly think got better but I was still not good it's obviously the smartest way to tell your totally not girlfriend that you are actually the king and not dead and all of that is to just, you know, tell everybody. And then everybody's upset. Sigyn isn't happy about that. And then he's very sad. And then he gets a hug. And then he's still very sad and everybody hates him. And then and then he uh, has to like figure out some shit because she's gonna marry the other guy. You know, <laughs> can't just admit to having a secret affair with the guy that everybody hates, right? <laughs> oh, so Sigyn doesn't want to be married to this guy. She's very sad, but she's gonna go through with it. But then turns out, turns out, guess who, guess who it is? And then they run off together and they're like happy, happy ever after, happy ending. Everybody's happy. You know, it's just, yeah. So that was that whole deal. Um, I was in at the same time also like reading like the Lady Loki era comics and um, having having fun <laughs> fun with that I, I think I should preface this with saying I did not have much of an idea about trans people and their issues at this point so there was a lot of questions that I didn't have an answer to <laughs> that were posed by Loki's gender shenanigans oh and then Frozen happened was this Age of Ultron or yeah that was Age of Ultron wasn't it This one is still funny. Still like this one. <laughs> still stand by this one. Amora isn't an idiot. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um. So, Frozen, right? <laughs> I wasn't happy with that movie. And because I love to fix things, uh, I, I, I fixed Frozen uh, in a lovely five-page comic that was basically like what if Hans wasn't an idiot and just went for the first of the two sisters you know but basically yeah just just some some shippy nonsense over here oh god wait being king to text a queen oh me the heteronormativity out of the fucking wazoo god damn okay um uh Lucky. Lucky. Yes. Yeah, comic stuff. More freaking passing time between tour movie stuff. Just four years of asking ourselves. Just what the hell kind of productive shit is Loki up to while he's, you know, the king of Asgard? Because you would assume he would be, right? There's so many words. I'm not gonna look at the ones with words. Oh, magic bros. That's cute. Also very badly drawn. My god. Why is there no background? What is that fire effect? You can do better than this. Come on. And this is like about where it starts where I'm like, okay. With <laughs> this being my art. This one. <laughs> you know how I always draw non-human characters as human characters? Because <laughs> I'm like a reverse furry. This got me into uni. <laughs> This, this dumb thing was in my freaking uh, portfolio that got me into uni. And there's also some like old animations and stuff. 
this was like all done in flash and I still I didn't understand how colors on gifts work yet so the colors are very off because the like number of how many different colors it had was too low and I didn't realize I had to change that <laughs> I should redo that at some point also considering I have new like designs of them uh, so many things funny is it weird to laugh at your own jokes because I always laugh at my own jokes like if I don't laugh who's gonna laugh this one people really like because it's a good okay okay hear me out right this is the most underrated comic I have ever made because fucking nobody looked at it and because nobody fucking gets it because nobody's read all the comics you need to read to, read to get it it's the only explanation if you get it like props to you if you don't it's okay you don't it's a very niche joke you don't need to get it uh, when we still had hope for this new trilogy Millicent is the best thing ever because cats are good and villains with cats are also good this is where the Avengers fusion started fusing different characters because why not if you can guess which characters they're made of without looking at like the tags and stuff then uh, props to you <laughs> and props to me for doing a good job Th there's a lot of these if you want to like if you're interested in seeing these just there's a folder just go through it okay Cl Cl okay okay Clint Clinda though Clinda cuz right cuz I combined Clint and Wanda's names and I was like isn't that the witch from Wicked? <laughs> and that's Glinda, so I was like, so gonna be inspired by her. Glinda is very good. Oh goodness. Yeah, if you if you want to go through these, feel free to. There are so many in between. Just ran oh, this was when I started watching Markiplier. Well, like when I'd been watching Markiplier for like two months at the, at that point. My first milestone. Ah. 2016, that was two years ago, and I was at 100 followers. <laughs> As a reference, I'm like at almost 5,000 now, so two years <laughs> on Tumblr. <laughs> Great job, me. That That's nuts. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, this was where like the first pictures from the Ragnarok set came out, and yeah, there was like set photos and stuff, and like my joke was the better version. Okay, okay, let's talk about, let's talk about this one, cause... Okay, so, right. <laughs> I stand. <laughs> that was my first Inktober. This is the highlights. A lot, a lot of stuff. Me looking like anime character over there. This one got a lot of notes. This one also got a lot of notes. Cause I think both of them were reblogged by Thomas Sanders cause they were part of his Inktober prompts. What the fuck was that? I think that was a drawfee thing. But I cannot remember what it was for the life of me. Oh, memes. Memes are good. Memes are good. Ew, animation. Look at the animation. Oh, look at how wobbly it is. I need to like redo some of these at some point. Just, just because. I tried. This one is pretty like solid just the hair is kind of wobbly i think this is one of my best drawings ever made <laughs> all the comic lokis there are so many of them there are so many of them and i love hobo loki so much he's so good i mean he's neutral so yeah <laughs> this one might actually be my favorite thing i've drawn in the last five years <laughs> we had to make a comic in school and um Mine, mine was basically like the, the it was about it was about depression, and and then and then the the plot twist was the plot twist was just more depression. Comic about depression, plot twist, more depression. Eh. <laughs> I forgot I no I forgot I animated this. Oh boy. Sorry, you can tell that this is exactly where the trailer came out. Well, this is where we're gonna end this. Wait. <laughs> oh.
Okay, this, I also like this one. But basically this stuff that comes after here is like from last year, so I'm gonna skip that. That's not old art really anymore. So that's pretty recent. Um, I hope you enjoyed this lovely video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more quality content. <laughs> Follow me on social media, the links are in the description. And have a nice day, man. Like, hope you enjoyed this. Bye.